I, I don't think there would, there would be a link. Uh, we have a serious um, shortage of homes. There are 360,000 people in London who are on the housing list. Um, whether we're in or out of Europe doesn't change the fundamentals, and that is that we need to build a very significant number of new homes. We have to close that gap. I'm a passionate European because of the cultural benefits, social benefits, but the economic benefits being a member of the European Union brings. More than 500,000 jobs in London are directly dependent on us being members of the European Union. More than 60% of non-EU companies have their EU headquarters, guess where, here in London. I was in Falls in Dagenham a couple of weeks ago. 43% of London's exports uh, are exported to uh, the European Union of those things manufactured in London. So as the Mayor of London, I want to be a pro-business mayor. That means being pro the European Union. Look, I'm a localist. Uh, I, 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 I won't negotiate the numbers. We need to considerably ramp up the number of homes being built. But you do that not by antagonising communities. You do it by working with communities. And I think there are some great organisations that offer really inspiring examples, organisations like Create Streets, whose emphasis is on low-rise, high-density, street-based developments. That's the kind of development that I would instinctively be supporting. I'm happy to have skyscrapers in the right place, but they've got to be quality design. Too many of these um, high buildings that are going up are quite average, they're quite bland, or things like the walkie-talkie are quite offensive to the eye, quite frankly. I would like to see tall buildings, but I'd have an expert panel, um, who, a Skyline Commission, who would advise me to make sure we get them in the right place and the right quality design. What we're going to do is make sure that we can make uh, renting in London much more affordable than it currently is. We're going to introduce a new concept called a London living rent. That will be a third of average earnings in an area. We're also going to make sure that the not-for-profit letting agent, when it comes to a tenancy, during the three-year tenancy, the rents only go up by inflation rather than a 10-15% to 15 hike that currently happens. But we hear all these horror stories from, um, from landlords about how it would be the end of the world as we, we knew it and how, um, how it would, um, uh, would decimate the private rented sector. But we heard the same sort of arguments in the 1990s against the, uh, against the uh, minimum wage, that it would act as a break on employment, it would destroy jobs and so on. That was found to be, um, to be nonsense and in many ways quite um, a hysterical overreaction.